if you are love, if you are the personification of love and you're not able to express, that's one of the hardest things you can ever do. Those times when you are away from your, your son, your daughter, and uh, when you're away from them, you know, it's like every minute becomes so slow, right? You know, it's like so hard because love wants to be with. I believe when Jesus died on the cross, when all the claims of divine justice and righteousness was fully met in the body of Jesus Christ, the pent up goodness of God was finally released, <laughs> was finally, finally unleashed upon a world, a guilty world, a lost, dying, crying, sighing world. And that's why God tore the veil. It wasn't so much to let, let man come in to see what man could not see before. It was actually God stepping out. If God had stepped out any earlier, man would have been destroyed because of God's holiness. Can you understand that, people? Amen? So, it is not that the cross of Jesus made God good. Don't fall into the error. All right? Sometimes people think that Jesus is the loving one, God is the judge. That's erroneous thinking. Remember John 3, 16? For God, for who? God so loved the world that He gave. Long before the cross, God so loved you and I. God gave His Son. Amen? So in heaven today, amen, that place that, that gives us access to God, Jesus sprinkled His blood, we have immediate access to God an excess that in the Old Testament, even all Israel cannot go in. Only the priests can go in the first part, the holy place. But only the high priests can go in the Holy of Holies, which is today our dwelling place. Today, it is our place. We are there. Okay, we are all there. We have immediate access to God because the blood of Jesus has torn the veil. 